You're watching Weekend Sundays. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alright, well I think here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech it's really time to aggravate, infuriate, annoy, piss off Apple people. Those people who believe Apple's to be the holy grail of computers. And that installing any other operating system other than MacOS on it is just sacrilege. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. As you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, we're going to install Debian 11.2 onto my big 27-inch iMac. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, continuing with our server PC stuff theme here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for this weekend, and uh, well, I can't really, saying this doesn't make sense, but hopefully you'll get what I mean. My big 27 inch Apple iMac, Intel Core 2 Duo, 3.06 gig, 10 gig of RAM, is slightly useless these days regarding software, limitations, etc. Now, I have, th what, four iMacs now, plus the one that my neighbour gave me over the road, which is newer than this, because the little 21.5-inch Core i3 iMac will stay with MacOS. But I want to be able to use the big 27, and that is exactly what we're going to do. You see, on this USB key is Debian 11.2. And so what we're going to do is completely blow away MacOS High Sierra, we're going to install Debian 11.2 with KDE. Now, some people are going to say, oh, hang on, old mate, what are you doing? You're an MX person. Why are you not putting MX Linux on it? I've got MX everywhere. All right. I really want just a straight up computer here at the desk with Debian 11 on it. That's really what I want. Just straight up Debian 11.2. Okay. So that's exactly what we're going to do. It's going to have KDE. Now, before people arc up and say, but hang on, it's only got that 256 megabyte ATI graphics card in it. Yeah, I know. I'm not worried. Honestly, I am not worried. So I'll grab the video camera. I am going to do a little bit of ADR with this. And the reason I'm going to do ADR is very simple. This doesn't sound so good, does it? So let me get the, let me get the tripod all set up in front of the big 27. And... Uh, we will um, we'll start installing Debian 11.2. Let's get into it. All right, well, I've got the USB key in. Just trying to find the power button on the back of this thing. And then hit option. Let's hope it actually brings up the USB option. There we go. All right. So I need well, that's not what it's supposed to be. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's do a graphical install with this. Probably not all going to fit in the screen because of the size of the iMac. But anyway, mouse covered by coffee. All right, so let's, wow, I can't get this all on the freaking screen. <laughs> um, okay, so, <clears throat> all right, let's, where's my mouse, all right, uh, what have I done here? Go back. It's supposed to be English. That's better. Next. Australia. Can't ever get it all on the screen, guys. This is going to be huge. Okay, go with that. All right. So off we go. We'll get this running and 
I'll then have a nice big Debian 11 computer. I can't get this all on the screen, can I? <laughs> I'm trying to do ADR at the same time. Um, I'm going to run with the wired connection because it's already there. I don't even, I think that, you know, I've got the zoom all the way out. All right. Let me get, uh, let me get all this sorted out and uh, so I've got to put the host name in and everything. I'll be back. All right. So I've done I've done uh, usernames and passwords and everything. I'll get this going and once I get this all started, the next, uh, if it does anything, there we go, loading additional components. It's so big. I don't think I've ever seen Debian this big. It's huge. <laughs> but once this is done, guys, and we're running I'll um what I'll do is uh we'll uh we'll stop the video while this all installs because it'll take a while and then uh, we'll come back once I've got Debian 11 and KDE installed and we'll just make sure it does actually install it first because you know that would be that's what I needed to do so what we're going to do is I'm going to use I'm actually going to use the entire system, the entire disk. And I'm going to use the 500 gig hard drive that's in there, which is more than what I need for this. And now, I know what well, I know what's going to happen here. People are going to be like, "You should be doing blah blah blah." Look, I'm going to say this now, okay? Um, I'm actually just going to. Suppose I better do it properly, hadn't I? We'll do it properly. We'll use separate partitions for all of them. There we go. Alright, right partitions for disk, yes. And yes. Alright, well, we'll come back once I've uh we're ready to install um What's it called? <laughs> KDE. All right. Well, I'm going to use a network mirror. I'm just going to use the Australian Debian mirror just because I can. It should be fine for that. There's no proxy, which is good. <laughs> um, while this is been, I'm just going to move the camera back a bit, guys. You can see as much as I can get on this big 27-inch monitor. Um, while this has been going on, I've converted the uh, firewall to HTTPS. I've done my firewall rules. I did mention the fact that um, uh, the old rules may not work, and that happened. I could not import my old rules into the new firewall because it was so badly corrupt. So, all right, no, I'm not going to go into a user thing. So now we play the waiting game for this thing to catch up. It is slow to install, but Debian always is. All right, now we're going to do this. I am not going with GNOME. I am going with KDE Plasma. I'm going to have my standard system utilities. All right, you can see there I've gone with KDE. And that's just what I'm sticking with, whether people like it or not. It's my computer. All right. All right, so KDE is now installing. We'll call this part one. And for part two, we'll come back and log in to my new 27-inch Debian 11.2 computer. Actually, I'll tell you, this will, I'm, I'm going to say this because I really am, I'm, this will annoy the holy other, the, both the holy other now know it all experts and Apple people. In part two, we'll log into my new Debian-powered Debian 11.2 powered Apple iMac. We'll catch you for part two. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.